Hi everybody and welcome to this episode on track automation in Logic Pro. In today's episode you'll learn all about uh, how to work with automation and delete automation and copy regions with automation. Automation in Logic Pro basically means that we can automate different parameter values of Logic. So we can automate things like volume, panning, effect levels and uh, different parameters of the effects and plugins of Logic. And you do all that with the automation. To show automation in Logic you can press this uh, automation button in the interface, show and hide automation, or you can press the A key to show and hide the automation. Now with the automation active you can see that uh, all the tracks expanded vertically and we also get some more parameters to choose from. So the first one here is the automation mode and we can select read, touch, latch or write. Read basically means that uh, this track will read the automation values from the automation curves or the automation lane. And if you want to add automation or write automation, you can either select touch, latch or the write. And we'll look a little bit more in depth of all these different uh, types later in the episode. By default, uh, from scratch, all the tracks shows uh, the automation lane for the volume. And when we have empty automation on a track, it will just uh, be represented by a gray line. And on this automation lane, we can add different nodes to control the amount of, of the automation value. So let's click anywhere here on the volume for the electric piano. And then we add a node in the beginning and we can add a node at this point at bar 9. Now we can also drag these nodes. So let's uh, drag this to the bottom here. And that means that the volume of uh, the electric piano will be zero. And the track will gradually fade its volume upwards until we hit the bar 9 when we have its uh, full volume. Now the track reached uh, its uh, full volume at the minus 0.5 dB. You can of course increase this uh, up to 6 uh, plus 6 dB, but I do recommend that you stay around uh, the 0 dB value here, so you don't go overboard with the volumes and go too hot. But it is possible if you need that extra, that extra boost in volume. The volume automation we did here is like the most basic of automations. You can of course add more nodes if you want to do like... Uh, different kinds of uh, volume fades, maybe something like this. Just uh, tap to add uh, more nodes. Right, so to add an automation node, you just click anywhere on the automation line, like so. And if you want to remove a node, you just uh, make a double click on that node. And then they will disappear like this. Super simple. Now you can also change the line or the curvature of uh, the line between two points. To do that, you use the automation curve tool. So let's activate that for the command key. So let's hold the command tool. And now we can drag and make this uh, more like an exponential kind of volume curve. Okay, so that's some simple automation with the volume. So how about automation with some more advanced stuff like effects? So now let's first remove the automation for the volume. And there's actually a quick command to remove the visible automation. To do that you hold the control command and press backspace. And that will remove the currently visible automation line. There's also more options to delete automation. And to find them you go up to the mix tab. 
and search for delete automation. And here we have delete visible automation on selected track and some other options. And the last one here, delete all track automation. And you probably want to use this one if you have tons of different parameters that you automated and you want to remove those. So let's use this one. Right, so now we want to automate an effect. And on this electric piano, we have a chroma verb, channel EQ and a compressor. So let's maybe automate uh, the wet effect of the reverb. Maybe we want uh, the piano to be quite mono in the beginning and then expand to be more like a stereo piano with a more of a stereo effect. And to do that we can do something like this. But now I did that with the mouse and we need to record this automation. To record that uh, effect automation on the track, uh, we need to go to the automation mode and we can select touch latch or the right mode. But let's uh, select the touch mode. And that means that as soon as I touch uh, any parameter on this effect, it will start to record that automation to, to the track. So let's press enter to go back to the beginning of the arrangement and uh, Press play and just uh, ride that little wet fader on, on the effect and see what happens to and see what happens to the automation. So there we have uh, that automation for uh, the wetness of uh, the effect. Now if we change uh, the automation mode back to read, we won't be recording anything, but we will actually play back this uh, automation. Okay, so now we only recorded the automation for the first part of uh, the electric piano. We want to have this automation also on the second part. How to do that? Well, you can select, drag and select like this and select different automation nodes and press command C to copy them. Then we need to select the playback header here to bar 9 and press command V. And we effectively pasted this automation. Right, so we need to add a little bit more spice to that electric piano and let's automate a second thing here. We can automate the send effect here. We have a bus send on the electric piano which goes into the AUX1 which has a stereo delay and a bit crusher. Now if we ride the send level here manually with the mouse it sounds like this. It adds a little bit of lo-fi top end sizzle there. So let's automate the send too. Let's go back to the beginning and change the automation mode to touch. And let's do the same thing here. Let's uh, copy this uh, the automation material. Command C, uh, select uh, bar 9. So we basically paste where the playhead is. So press Command V. And now we have the automation for the second part too. Right, so the touch automation will start to record automation on the track as soon as we move something on, on any of the interfaces, the effect interfaces or a volume. 
fader or something. Right, so we looked at the touch uh, automation mode, but there's also some other automation modes. Let's look at the latch automation mode. The difference between latch and touch automation mode is that uh, if you record something and uh, you release that parameter, the latch uh, will continue to record automation, although you don't move the parameter anymore. But uh, if you have the touch automation, it will only record your changes during the actual changes of, of the knob. So let's look at the difference between touch and latch automation mode in practice. And we see here when we have it on latch and I start to play back the arrangement here and we move this uh, send effect. As soon as I release this and, and don't make any changes, it will still record and overwrite the, the other automation curves that we have on, on the automation lane. So uh, latch is actually the automation mode that I mostly use, but uh, that's just to show the difference between latch and touch. Because uh, most often when I've done like an automation pass, an automation recording, and I don't, and I feel I need to make some changes, I actually go back and, and just re-record everything. But maybe you want to use the touch mode instead, so now you know the difference between those. The right automation mode is the most destructive of uh, the automation modes because uh, even though you don't make changes to this uh, automation lane, it will just uh, overwrite anything in its, uh, in its uh, path. So for me personally, I mostly use the latch automation mode when I record automation on a track. And there's a short key for that, and that is Control, Command and A. So this is one of the most important uh, short keys that you will ever learn in this course. Control, Command, A to flip between read automation and latch automation. Maybe we can add a little fade here to the synth bass group. So the A key for closing and opening the automation. And then we have it set to the volume for the synth and bass group. And we add a node somewhere along the lines of that. Up until now we've been watching one automation lane per track, but you can actually have uh, multiple automation tracks uh, open for one specific track at any one time. If we look at this electric piano again, we saw that we have uh, send effects automated and we also have the chroma verb automation active. You can here also select other parameters like uh, volume to open up the volume automation and we can select uh, panning if you want to automate uh, maybe the panning of, of the electric piano. So you have access to all these different uh, parameters just from this little button here if you want to uh, look at other uh, parameters to automate. So to view multiple lanes of automation or multiple data points of automation on a track, you can press this little arrow and it will show all the other tracks, uh, all the other automation lanes on this specific track. So we have the send effects automation in the purple and the panning in green and the chroma verb wet level in orange.
Another really sweet automation key to know about uh, besides A to open automation and uh, control command A to flip between read and latch is uh, command and Y which will uh, cycle through the different automation lanes uh, which uh, you have active on, on a track. So if I press command Y we get to the panning and then we get to the send effect level of, uh, of uh, effect 1. And command Y again, we get to uh, the chroma verb wet level. So we can cycle through these different uh, automations uh, on, on that specific track instead of just pressing this arrow to open and show all the different uh, automations that's available on the track. You can also find the uh, automation cycle through command if you press the automation parameter list and go to the top here. We have display off and cycle through. But uh, it's probably better to remember command Y to jump between these different parameters on a single track. Another important aspect of uh, automation is that uh, will the automation follow along when you move uh, MIDI regions? Let's try that. We hold the ALT key and move this electric piano to the right. So we basically just make, make a duplicate. And uh, with my current setting the automation will follow along. But uh, you can also change this if you want. So you can go to the mix up here and go to move track automation with regions. And you can select never, always or ask. So depending on how you work, you might want to change this to ask or always or something. So now if I do the same thing again here, hold the alt key and move this uh, to the right and release. Logic will ask me what do you want to do with the automation? Copy or don't copy? So we can say don't copy. And now we get the MIDI region with, without any automation happening. Right, so that's basically all you need to know about automation in Logic Pro. See you in the next episode. Bye!